Senior White House advisor and presidential son-in-law, Jared Kushner, has regained his top secret security clearance. Kushner's clearance revoked back in February when the White House changed security policy after allegations of spousal abuse were levied against a top aide at the White House, Rob Porter. Uh, the Justice Department ordering FBI senior official Peter Strzok and Lisa Page to preserve all of their emails uh, between 2015 and December of 2017. That after a request from government watchdog Judicial Watch, the FBI also agreed to release 13,000 pages of undisclosed emails between the pair on a rolling basis over the next two years. Let me repeat that, on a rolling basis over the next two years. To find out what that might mean is the man who is uh, getting all of those documents uh, in his, uh, as a result of the Judicial Watch request, Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton. Tom, great to have you with us. Uh, first of all, the idea that you have to ask them to preserve their communications uh, between Page and Strzok after they have obviously played such a central role in this scandal, uh, it, that's stunning. Well, at least the FBI responded positively to our request because we saw the text messages that had been publicly released. There was a suggestion that they were going to communicate about government business on their personal uh, devices. And so we asked the, uh, the FBI, hey, look, make sure all those records are, are uh, protected and preserved. So they said they were going to send letters uh, requesting that Struck and Page protect oh. those records and preserve them. You know, but in the meantime, they found 13,000 pages of records, texts, emails, other attachments between Page and Strzok, and they say they can only release them to us at the rate of 500 pages a month. And the court ordered them to release them to us, but obviously that's way too slow. It's a perfect example of the shell games and stonewalling uh, that the FBI and DOJ are playing on these key records. Uh, it is stonewalling by any name. We can call it slow walking. We can do any number of things. But this is outrageous. We've seen it also occur with the State Department and Clinton documents that are still right. being trickled uh, out. Uh, right. it, it, is, it is stunning that a judge, unless they are part of the conspiracy, uh, would go along with this. Uh, it is, uh, first of all, it's kind of sending, it's patronizing, uh, and it is egregious uh, conduct on the part of the Justice Department, as you have pointed out uh, over the course of the past uh, really two years here. And here we are. Uh, in in May of 2018 and it goes on and on. Well recall they hit these text messages uh, for at least a year uh, from Congress and the right. American people. Uh, they hid the reason for Strzok's removal from Mueller's operation. Both the DOJ and Mueller hid that from Congress and the American people. Now the text messages have come out. They've only been released partially as best as we can tell. There may be other communications between Strzok and Page now well over 13,000 pages and uh, they want to release them to us at a rate of 500 pages a month. Unfortunately, the court endorsed that, uh, but there's nothing preventing from the FBI and DOJ from accelerating that, and frankly, from President Trump, like he did with uh, uh, last weekend, ordering them uh, to start uh, releasing these records in a more timely and speedy way. I I'm sure this does not fit the definition of what the president stated when he called for absolute transparency uh, on the part of the Justice Department and the FBI. Uh, it is it's willful disregard for the commander in chief's orders uh, if, if they were to persist in this, is it not? Uh, you know, I, I, you know, the White House wants these records released. They want this extreme transparency. The agencies want to do their own thing, and uh, they think they're independent of the president, which is not constitutional. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, the president should be more direct. Uh, and just direct the agencies to start complying with the FOIA law. We're not asking for any special treatment. We just want them to follow mm -hmm. federal law that requires the timely release of records uh, that certainly the public has a right to say, see and a, and a serious right to see in light of the corruption we think is tied to the records. We, he can declassify the FISA materials, get out the unmasking materials. Uh, get the Peter Strzok page materials out. Get all the helper materials out, the Spygate materials out. The government's sitting on these, and the White House can get them out. The lawyers in the White House need to uh, enable the president and uh, facilitate his yeah. ordering the records releases. Uh, you know, Spygate, as the president calls it, it's Obamagate at this point, because now two of his spy masters have come out and said this is what they did. 
Uh, yes. They have taken ownership of spying on this president by... They've confirmed by, it. They've confirmed it. absolute yeah. uh, straightforward statements, both of them over a 24-hour period. There is no, there's no mystery left. This is now Obamagate. Well, that's exactly right, and you can bet that nothing like this would have been done without the president's involvement. Uh, you know, uh, Congressman Gates re referred to the uh, emails that uh, mm -hmm. the text messages saying the White House was directing this. Uh, remember, Comey and Clapper said, you know, there was spying or there was something like that, but it was all done by the book, which is kind of like what Susan Rice wrote a few weeks after that uh, infamous Oval Office meeting with Barack Obama when they were talking about using that dossier and going right. after Trump with it. Right. A, a little convenient and a little uh, revisionist. Uh, it's in, all, by, you know, it's spying, but it was all by the book. Yeah, so everyone right. go back to sleep. Well, somebody That's ought to Comey's go to jail way. for that particular, following that particular book. Comey, Ta uh, Clapper, Brennan, the rest of them face civil and criminal liability because of this. They're going to have to account, and there's got to be a process for getting them to account. Tom Fenton, as always, good to have you with us. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Be sure to vote.